Okay, we've shared this um, Excel file in the files folder. Uh, it's a little tool we developed to try and manage the product data templates on projects. Um, so you start off basically, if you can understand the process for one thing, then you can understand it for all the objects and that make up the project. But So I'll just do one example. But you start off in this matrix area and you add a, um, a deliverable. So a deliverable could be a system or a product. So we could just, as an example, go for product and maybe look up air handling unit. Okay, so there's a supply and return air handling unit. So, so we can add that deliverable to the project. Now what this tool has done, it's gone to the NBS website and it's fetched all the attributes or properties that are required for an, an air handling unit. Okay, so you can add them one by one if like that if you like, or uh, on this interface tab, you can also paste a list of products uh, and system uniclass codes that you've developed in your responsibility matrix. Um, what I would say about this is don't do too many at a time because it, it can make your computer freeze, but if you paste the values there and you push uh, this button that says fetch details, what it's doing now, and uh, take it, a few seconds is it's going off to the NBS website and it's fetching the product data temp, uh, attributes for for each of those things. Okay, so there's one there that it didn't find. So there you can see it's added all the the deliverables. Um, you know the name of the deliverable. It's gone and fetched the various attributes, and you can see which where some attributes have some products have overlapping attributes, but it, and it's marked with a green X, uh, whether that thing is required or not. Now, uh, you should you don't you don't edit this sheet, so this sheet is automatically generated. Um, so what you do is you click on this the blue text, which is the hyperlink for each thing, and what it does then is it goes and takes you to a product data template for that thing. So you can see there's the the Uniclass code at the top, uh, and then you can begin to fill out um, yeah, further details there. Um, you, know, you can give it the this product data template, a file name, a status, a revision. At the bottom, you can see all the attributes that NBS have determined that you need for for this thing, and, and it's quite a lot. So you, you know, as you go down, you can see there's 94 data points related to air handling units. Yeah. So the reason we developed this tool is because some people feel, well, maybe that's too much information. Um, stage designers would normally pay, um, provide them the performance information at stage four. So they, they'll provide that much information. Uh, the product manufacturers will um, of, provide the information for handover. But, but the product manufacturers would also, at stage five, would update the, this performance information to actual product uh, data. So, but with it, with, within this tool, you can decide whether this thing is actually necessary or not. So you can record if you if you don't want this, don't want to provide that information, or you don't need that information. You can also say if. Maybe NBS says you need it at stage four, but you're happy to accept it at stage five or six. So you, you can begin to change that there. You can decide whether the information is a type parameter or instance parameter. Uh, you can select who's going to provide it. You can also decide where this information needs to be provided. So maybe it's not necessary to have all this information within the 3D model. Um, you know, some of it could be in the, a schedule or a specification, uh, so, so you can begin to to decide where that information needs to be, make some comments, and um, eventually you can send the sheet off to a product manufacturer or product supplier, and they can fill out the values in this product data template. So you to to do that, what you would do is you would export this sheet that we're looking at from this tool as a separate Excel the file a name. You'd give it a compliant file name, obviously. 
Yeah. So when you export that, it's created a separate Excel spreadsheet, just a single sheet which you can send to your product manufacturer and they can complete it and send it back to you. And then when you when you get it back, you would import that and that it would bring the values back into this overall tool. OK, so you can try that out. Uh, it's one way of managing product data. But obviously, as I said, there's, there's other ways of doing that. <laughs>